Okay guys, let's start with step 3 that is Eclipse installation. Let's get that. Um, Java is done, right? Just say Eclipse download. Okay, just Google search with common terms. You need not remember any specific links or bookmark them to download all these. Okay, as a novice user, I'm just hitting Google search with a simple term called Eclipse download. Okay, so that you need not remember any specific links to download your software. Now, so if you see the first link is their official website eclipse.org. Now, what is Eclipse? First of all, so basically to write and execute your Java test, which is nothing but your Selenium test, you need to have an editor, right? You need to have an IDE to write and run your test cases. Okay, so there are a lot of IDEs available in the market to run your scripts, Java scripts. So there are editors like Eclipse and IntelliJ, Java Beans. So like that, there are few editors in the market to support and run your Selenium test cases. You need to write your script, right? For that, you need to have one editor. So out of all this, Eclipse is my favorite one. And in most of the companies, for Selenium, they use Eclipse only because it is an open source and it's a free. It's for free, okay? IntelliJ comes with a paid version. So that's the main reason people generally prefer Eclipse as their IDE to write your Selenium test cases. Okay, so for that, first we need to download this Eclipse and then start writing the scripts on that. So the dependency of this Eclipse is Java. If you don't download and configure Java, you cannot open your Eclipse IDE. That's why for the first step, I have started with Java installation only. If you try to jump at the third point before doing point number one and point number two, it doesn't work. Now, let me go to their official website and here you see that get Eclipse Oxygen. Okay, generally, every quarter eclipse comes up with a new version by giving one name okay so last time it is neon and before that it is kepler and now it is oxygen i think next it is coming with orion okay doesn't matter don't worry about the versions and all just download whatever you see here tomorrow you might see some another name that it's just a version name they are releasing but inside everything is same okay so you can directly download 64 bit if your machine is on 64 bit. If not, then click on this download packages and select the right one. So I would recommend you to select this download packages instead of doing this. There is a reason I'll let you know why. So click on this download packages. So basically Eclipse comes with multiple, you know, tools and for Java, thorough java testing you have one tool and for java beans and Sphinx, and if you want to development if you want to go to development side it has another tool which provide that features and it also have a tool for c++ language php you know the lots of uh, tools are present but we are interested only in this ide eclipse ide for java developers this is what we require you can also download this Java E developers, but it will have some more plugins which will eat your performance of script. Okay, so better and ideal one is to download this. Okay, just make sure you download the right one Eclipse IDE and based upon your Windows bit. If it is 32, you can download this. If it is 64, you can download this. So most probably in our machines, we will be seeing 64 bit only. So once you download this and automatically you can download will start or you can click this link and the .exe file will be downloaded in your machine. Again, same story. Once it is downloaded, I'll just click on download and cancel it. Let me cancel this. Yeah, it comes in zip format. And once you extract zip, you will have something like this. Let me show. I'll open in particular yeah so you will see like this in zip format just extract it by right clicking extract to eclipse java oxygen so that will unzip all your eclipse stuff 
and it will create a folder where you can open and invoke eclipse.exe okay it takes a little time to extract everything because it's a huge bundle of more than 150 mb right okay so let's wait till it complete cool it's done so let's go and search for that yeah this is the folder so select this and you have eclipse and this is the .exe file which you need to invoke okay so there are a lot of other files in it you just don't worry about them so this is the file just you need to invoke and let me select that you see that eclipse oxygen the version name and this keep on changing the only thing it really matters is the eclipse and the version name okay you just uh, don't worry about the version name what they have given oxygen neon or kepler right so eclipse workspace so it's asking us a path where you can create all your projects selenium projects okay so right now i am doing this in c users rahul and i just give any random name so that in this folder you are all projects whatever you create will be stored so just select launch and this launches the editor so for the first time it takes little time to load and complete all the components so even this required java so this eclipse now going and talking with system variables to extract java so that it can run it supporting files okay this is the first look and we will directly jump into workbench by selecting this this is just about uh, tutorials like how to create and stuff but however i'll explain all this so let's step into workbench okay so this is how it looks once you launch eclipse in your machine so in the next lecture let's try to create a project in the eclipse and then we will take it from there okay so if you go back to our document we have successfully completed eclipse installation in this lecture so we will go and see what is project and how to create it and why do we need project so all these things i'll be talking in my next lecture thank you